Today I'm going to show you how to get into the Century College online databases from inside our D2L course site. So actually this will work the same whether you're in 102157 or 102155. But today we're going to go through uh, from 57. So the first thing that you want to do is open up the drop down menu. Here are additional uh, menu items that are on this drop down menu. And we're going to pick the Century College Library. You can see that opens up the library inside of our course site. So when we're finished, we can go back um, someplace into our course site, into content, back to the home page or whatever. So I like that. And then we could search for books that are actually in the library. So we'd have to go to the library to pick those up. And the same thing um, with DVDs and videos and so forth. Um, some of these are online and some of these we'd have to go to the library to pick up. But the database holds full text articles that um, we can get from home without ever going into the library. So it's very convenient for us as online students but it's convenient for um, all college students. When you're home in the evening and you need some more material, rather than searching the general uh, databases, you can, the general internet, you can go to these databases that have been approved by our librarian. So the first thing you do is, is uh, click on this, and then you need to log in. Otherwise, you can't use these databases. So they're a subscription, and they therefore the college pays for them based on the number of users. So what you want um, here is that those numbers on the back of your um, Century College ID and then your password over here um, is your last name. The numbers are about 14 to 16 of them. I haven't, I haven't counted, but quite a few. They're under the zebra code on the back of your student ID, which doubles as a um, bar. So once you have that in there, you're logged in and you can open up database. Here's the Britannica that we looked at last night. You can search for um, oops. So here it is, Dred Scott decision. We talked about that a little bit um, last night. Took, it was a Supreme Court case that took place here in Minnesota and that might be a good topic for your um, essay 3 explaining what that was. And you can see there are a lot of other related things. So this is a much better Britannica to use than the one that's available um, generally. You can see it's got um, a dictionary, it's got a thesaurus. I guess we have to go to a particular article. Let's come back. That's got decision. Open it up and, and you can see all these blue things are hyperlinks that take you to more information about these people, about um, other things that, that are related. Uh, explains the whole thing, has some original. 